Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you something that I made for the Google Code Jam challenge. Um, in case you haven't heard of it, uh, the Google Code Jam is a uh, challenge where Google sets out a few problems, uh, which are generally quite fun to do, and then asks people to solve it. Um, what people, you're free to use any programming language. And what people, at least what some people do, is try to solve it in the most obscure language possible. So there's people solving it in uh, Java, of course, and C++. But there's also people solving it in assembly, which is still relatively doable. And then there are programming languages like Pete, which is based off of Pete Mondrian, which is graphical and <laughs> just ridiculous. Um, brain fuck is probably used. It's all, it's all quite fun. Um, so what I did is I solved this problem in Minecraft. Um, there is a, f a little bit, uh, yeah. There's a problem with it, which is basically importing the the problem, which is a text file. In this case, a hundred lines, a hundred numbers basically, and also outputting it, which is also supposed to be a text file. What I did is I created a script in Lua and that just uh, gives a score to every armor stand based on that text file. So what you can see here is you summon uh, lots of mine cards which are all riding each other and they this gives the number 47 to armor stand number 100 as you can see here and then this one says first number to 102 for armor stand number 99 okay so what I did is I got the text file uh, ran the script copied the command into this command block flick this lever the Minecraft got summoned here which set the values of the first number of every uh, armor stand here these are 100 armor stands which I generated as well, this command. Um, but they're just writing each other. Um, and then this, um, yeah, sets it to zero before uh, setting it to a different value, which I don't know if that's even necessary. This resets, it resets all the other um, scoreboard values, which are used so you can run it multiple times. Um, so let's quickly explain this the rules of this actual challenge because uh, the one I solved is called counting sheep and basically what they do is they take a number I've ran it once already um, but I've uh, they, you take a number say 12 then you note the digits that you have seen in this case 1 and 2 then you add the first number which is 12 to it then you get two, 4 uh, 24 uh, which is the digits 2 and 4 You've already seen two, so that doesn't matter. But now you've seen the digits one, two, and four. And then you add 12 to that again, you got 36. Now you've seen one, two, three, four, six. And you get 48, you have seen one, two, three, four, six, eight, and so forth. So now you get 60, you've also seen zero. And you go on until you've seen every single digit from zero to nine. And that's just what I do here. I um, use scoreboards to uh, separate each number using the modulus scoreboard objective and then just see which number it is, which is hugely ineffective and <laughs> should not be done in Minecraft, but I thought it was fun. So let's just see it in action. If I flip this lever, I see on the right, they all start counting. And you can see that it, it, it's in the beginning took quite well because there's a hundred command blocks being executed on with, I don't know, maybe a hundred or a hundred command blocks are executing on a hundred arm stands, which is 10,000 commands every second, which is a lot. So yeah, and then it outputs into the chat what it should be. 
and then the only thing I had to do was uh, for the specific rules of this challenge was change the zero in insomnia because this one if it's a zero it will never see all digits because zero plus zero is zero obviously um, and yeah that's it so bye